Hello, and welcome to the rightcome.com podcast, where we help you to make money from your words. Each episode, we'll be sharing tips, tricks, and strategies you can use to make more money from your writing, publishing, and marketing to your fans and audience. Let's get started with your host, Barry J. McDonald. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode from rightcom.com. And today's podcast episode is entitled, Do You Visualize? Now, do you? When is the last time you've sat down and imagined yourself as a best-selling author, or imagine yourself having a blog with thousands of people dropping by every day, or having a, a huge YouTube channel where people are just, even people from the press are reaching out to you because you have just hit the mainstream because you are so popular. Have you ever visualized yourself as being any of those? Now, if you haven't, there is probably a good reason why you are exactly where you are and exactly where I am, because unfortunately, a lot of us don't visualize. And if we do do any type of visualizing, it is usually visualizing everything that could go wrong. Or we visualize getting the exact same result as yesterday, and then we wake up the next day and we aren't surprised that we got the same result because we are seeing ourselves the same way every single day. We aren't seeing ourselves stretching. We aren't seeing ourselves getting forward we aren't seeing ourselves selling more books we might see that maybe for a couple of seconds and then we'll dismiss that idea because it's outside our wheelhouse it's something that has never ever happened to us before so why should it happen to us now and because of that then we are visualizing the wrong ways now Unfortunately, I did, a couple of years back, I did get hugely wrapped up in self-development and I probably, I got so deep in it that um, if you go back to the archives, I'm sure you'll find the episode, but I got so deep in it, I was nitpicking at everything that I was doing and everything I had done in the past and I was doing affirmations, I was coming up with all these different enchantments for forgiving myself and trying to you know, undo some of the things that were done in the past and even, I was even thinking at one stage maybe that was things that maybe maybe my ancestors has done and it's been passed down to me and I got so so deep into it that I was just really really depressed with where I was and I never ever thought that I could get myself out of it and then a couple of years later I came into Dan Meredith's world which Dan is more at the other extreme. Dan is more um, action, action, action. Don't think too bit, too much about what you are doing. Just go ahead and do it. And when I followed Dan for a few years, which I still do, um, you know, I did find that I got all, over a lot of my mental hurdles and I started creating content. I started doing things that I would never ever done before, like this podcast and doing videos when I was walking around the field with the dog and, you know, doing things I would never ever done before. But unfortunately, you know, if you go to either of the those extremes unfortunately you're never really going to get anywhere you know if you live too much in your head and not take any actions well you're not going to get anywhere but again too if you are only taking actions but you can't see yourself as getting ahead or can't see yourself you know having a better life or selling more books or getting more people following you well then again you are probably going to you know have a kind of limited experience in your business and whatever you are trying to do so Recently, I have started getting back into visualizing because, as I said, I, I realized that, you know, for me to stretch myself, for me to move out of the, the mental box I am in, I need to see myself in a larger box. So that's what I thought I would do this podcast episode because I see a lot of people who are, you know, given content on how to be a better writer and all these writing tips and how you can you know, your grammar's this way, how to come up with better characters, how to, you know, how to edit your book, all the stuff, that kind of physical stuff in the book. But nobody really is talking about how to visualize themselves as a better writer or how to visualize themselves maybe writing faster or selling more books and things like that. So that's what I hopefully, maybe this episode maybe will fit into that, that little slot that nobody else seems to be catering to. So I just wrote some things down on a piece of paper here about visualizing. And maybe if you, you know, when you do go through this episode, you will probably see it in a different way and you'll start to realize how much visualizing you know can make a difference in your life now one of the things is that probably the, the main thing visualizing does is that it gives marching orders to your subconscious you know when you probably are well aware that we have our conscious mind and we have our subconscious mind and if you imagine our 
conscious and subconscious mind is like a huge iceberg in the sea. The conscious mind is only the small bit that is floating on the top. It's the only bit that we can see. And the subconscious mind is the big, huge bit that's under the water that nobody knows is there. But the subconscious mind takes care of a lot of you know, the physical things in your body, like your breathing, your digestion, your blood flow, all those different things that if we had to concentrate on, we would probably be dead in five minutes. So the subconscious does all that major stuff. And you probably are well aware too, you know, our subconscious mind takes over a lot of our habits, a lot of activities maybe that we do over and over again. You know, when we learned maybe to drive a car in the very beginning, our conscious mind was solely focused on that because we had to concentrate on the road, we had to concentrate on what gear we were in, we had to concentrate on letting the clutch in and out, we had to concentrate on the brake and the accelerator and all those different things. And then as we got better and we started doing those things over and over and over again, we found that our subconscious mind started taking all those over. So we didn't actually have to physically or uh, kind of, you know, spend much mental bandwidth on driving the car because the subconscious mind was doing that. Because you're probably aware of it happening to you maybe a couple of times. You get into the car, you turn the car on, and before you know it, you're at the restaurant, you're at McDonald's, or you've taken the kids to school, or you're at work or whatever, and you don't even realize you making all the movements. You don't remember turning on off the indicator, you know, accelerating, hitting the brakes, whatever. But it was all done on autopilot, and it was all done by your subconscious just mind so one of the best things about visualizing is that you can give your marching overs over to your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind will work in the background as you are working on something else it will be kind of you know coming up with new ideas or maybe coming up with new habits or helping maybe some of your habits that you're, you're focused on it will start taking them on and start making them automatic so you don't even need to concentrate on them now one of the things if you do visualize now I've written a book recently by um, Lisa I think it's Jimenez um, she has a book called Research Your Mindset. Now one of the parts of her book she talks about visualization and she comes up with a tip that you should visualize for about six or seven minutes per day. So it's nothing too major. You don't have to put hours aside to do it. Just even you know seven minutes in the morning when you wake up or before you go to bed. I think those are probably the best times when you wake up when your, your brain is kind of half asleep or when you're on the verge of falling asleep I think as well too. Those are the times when your your brain is you know easiest to communicate with or to get past whatever mental limitations you might have in your head so she says you should only visualize for about six or seven minutes per day and when you visualize you are given marching orders to your subconscious and because you are visualizing it actually brings into action more parts of your brain and she said that if you visualize it actually you know activates your prefrontal your sorry <laughs> prefrontal your your prefrontal cortex and this part of your brain actually comes up with thinking creativity and new ideas which I presume if you you know you needed to increase your business that is sure would be one thing you would ne would need to put into place you would need to find more ideas of how you could make your business increase or maybe if you were looking to be a better fiction writer I am sure if you got that prefrontal cortex coming up with new ideas for book ideas I'm sure you'd probably be writing more books than you are right now and that could make a difference on where you are as well and she also said if you do visualize it actually limits your or kind of turns down the volume on your fear and your shame because you are visualizing yourself regularly as maybe a successful person or maybe somebody who is just stepping on stage and who's maybe making a speech or whatever right now that could probably terrify you but when you play that scene over and over in your head of you walking up on the steps of you standing in front of the microphone of you looking out over the microphone and everybody staring at you when you replay that over and over again she said it actually turns down your fear it turns down your shame and your embarrassment so that when you do actually if that's what you want to do when you do actually step on stage on that day your fear levels will be down because you have replayed it over and over again and your embarrassment levels will you know have gone down again because you have visualized that over and over again so keep that in mind as well too if you are thinking of visualizing it does help reduce down your fear your embarrassment and your shame levels and as well too and an important part of visualizing is that it activates your reticular activity, activity system. It's also known as the RAS. Now, maybe to explain this a bit better, have you ever bought yourself a white car and then all of a sudden because you are driving a white car, you find everybody else is driving a white car? Or if you are driving a, maybe a Ford, everybody else is driving a Ford. And then tomorrow if you sold that car and you bought maybe a Toyota, you'd look around and everybody else will be driving Toyotas. So that's what that RAS is it's it's kind of
kind of your, your brain shutting off all the information that it doesn't need to pay attention to and only pays attention to what you are given this um, you know importance to look at so again you know if you're driving a Toyota your brain is thinking he's driving a Toyota oh there's a Toyota over there there's a Toyota over there or there's a white car over there or there's a white car over there and those things are probably popping up on your subconscious mind you might even be aware there's a Toyota over there but suddenly you look over and you'll see one over there or you'll see one over there but the day before when you were driving your your Ford or whatever you would just drive straight past that you wouldn't pay any attention to it because it wasn't what your RAS was looking at so that's one thing that um, Lisa says when you do visualize as well too it does activate that part of your brain and it'll start looking for new things that you haven't looked at before again as I said you know when we are visualizing every day at the moment you're probably visualizing the same life over and over and over again and because of that then your eyes are scanning ahead and your brain is making you aware of the exact same things you've seen the day before but when you start visualizing a new future when you start visualizing new ideas or your business increasing or making more money your brain now will start looking for things that you've never noticed before and things that are probably right in front of you maybe business ideas or product ideas that you just have right on the laptop in front of you and you've never even noticed them before but because your brain is switched on now to this new idea your RAS is going to be seeking out those different things and you will probably find you know you probably slap yourself on the side of the head and say why did I never write a book on that topic or why did I never create a product on that or why have I never thought of doing a podcast episode on that and that's because you were you know as I said looking within your wheelhouse but by you visualizing you are going to activate your RAS and you're going to give it new topics and new things for it to look at and it's going to pull all that information to you so keep that in mind too as well and then also um, from what I can see here the notes I've written down your visualizing actually changes the chemicals in your brain when you visualize for maybe six or seven minutes you can't especially if it's a good thing that you are visualizing if you are maybe stepping up on stage you've just given a speech and everybody is standing up and they are applauding like crazy and they are just giving you a standing ovation and everybody's cheering your name and you know if you visualize that moment I am sure you would be happy as a clam I am sure you'll be excited I am sure you would be nodding your head at this you know imaginary audience and you would be just as hyper and as happy happy as anything and that in that six or seven minutes that you have been visualizing there you have been almost kind of artificially activating all the those chemicals in your brain you are starting you probably will come out of that visualizing session feeling better about yourself feeling happier about yourself and it's all because of those moments when you were lost in that uh, that scene where everybody was cheering you or you know maybe it could be visualizing money coming in and they hear you standing with a huge check in your hand and you're thinking about all the different things you can do all the bills you can pay off the holiday you are going to go on and maybe you're going to visualize yourself on the beach you know the sun beaming down you and you are again going to be ecstatic you're going to be happy you're going to be all the good emotions you're going to have and when you come out of that session then you are going to carry that into your day all those happy chemicals so keep that in mind today as I said you know unfortunately a lot of us don't really pay much attention to visualization and it was something that I did fall out of because I did kind of come into the more physical world of you know push the content or churn the content or get it out there get it out there get it out there and I found that even though I was getting the content out there it did feel sometimes like I was almost kind of pushing a huge boulder in front of me or that I was driving the car with part of the handbrake on I just didn't seem as free as I should be and it was probably because I wasn't visualizing a better future it's because I wasn't stepping outside the mental box I had in my head so as I said, I hope this is helping somebody out because unfortunately a lot of people who are putting books out in creativity and are kind of focusing on all the kind of physical things and nobody has really actually said to, you know, that, well the content that I've ever come upon, I've never had anybody say to any writer, go ahead and visualize yourself as a better writer or go ahead and visualize yourself as a better blogger or go ahead and visualize yourself as a better YouTuber or whatever it is. I've never really heard many people actually talk about that. They'll give you all the kind of physical things and all the tips and tricks and all the things you'll actually have to do in your business but they never really look at the mental game so as I said I hope this will help somebody out today or if you have ever dabbled in visualization and you've said to yourself well that doesn't work for me or I can't see why I should need to do it maybe this should help you in that the visualization it will give you marching orders for your subconscious mind it's gonna you know kick start that prefrontal cortex it's gonna come up with new ideas new topics maybe to write about and again to your maybe feeling embarrassment of 
yourself maybe putting a book out there because you're going to fear bad book reviews or you're going to fear a podcast episode if people are going to laugh at how you're going to you know that episode or people are going to laugh or people are going to troll you on your youtube video all that is going to be turned down because you are visualizing that and that's going to it's going to activate as i said all the chemicals in your mind all the endorphins all the dopamines and all the good chemicals from those six or seven minutes so try that out maybe for the next six or maybe the next 30 days or so and, and see how it goes and see is it making any change and if it does certainly keep going but from what i've seen a lot of people who are really really successful nowadays that is where they usually will do they all set aside a, a set of you know a, a set moment in their day where they just sit down and visualize themselves as a better person or in a better business or being more creative or whatever it is and then when they actually put their their mind in that direction the rest of their brain or the other parts of the brain would usually catch up and try and bring them in that direction so keep that in mind today as i said i hope it helps somebody out because it's something that i have started doing but i just don't hear many people in the creative world actually talking about visualizing and i thought i would do a topic on it today so as always if you found this episode you know it helped you or if you think maybe somebody else would appreciate it feel free to hit someone of the social media buttons close by or even just direct them to the rightcom.com podcast i would greatly appreciate it and if you would like to reach out to me if you would like me to cover anything in an upcoming episode again feel free to reach out you can get me at barry j mcdonald at gmail.com and if you do visualize and you do want to become a fiction writer or you do want to become a podcaster or you do want to do something in the creative world head on over to writecom you'll find a lot of great content over there that's w-r-i-t-e-c-o-m-e.com so as always take care of yourself and have a lovely day Bye bye Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like more from the rightcom.com podcast, be sure to subscribe now for more tips, tricks, and ideas you can use to make more money from your words. See you in the next episode.